again. This is Stephen Welsh, President of the International Chiropractors Association with your daily message for Friday, April 24th. For the past two days, we've reviewed a few studies that seem to suggest that the virus is not as deadly as originally declared in early March. Today, I'd like to bring you to attention some events that just might reinforce that conclusion. Did you know that at the beginning of this month, the Army scrambled to set up a 250-bed field hospital in the event center next to the Seattle's baseball stadium? And then a week later decided that it wasn't needed? Did you know that last week, the Cleveland Clinic and the Columbus Convention Center completed their emergency hospital spaces? And now the current modeling suggests that they won't be needed. Or that Ohio's three largest metropolitan cities have established COVID-19 emergency surge hospitals. But as of a week ago, none of them had seen a single patient. Do you remember the big controversy of how long it was going to take for that Navy hospital ship to get to New York City? Did you know that last week it was nearly 90% empty? And on Tuesday it was announced that the UN, USNS hospital ship is planning to leave. Now I must say, all of these events that many of you may not be aware of are actually very good news. The predicted overload of the hospitals did not materialize. And we can now say that with 2020 hindsight, there was no need for these emergency facilities at these locations. Now it's just anecdotal evidence that this virus may not be as deadly as originally expected. But one can't help wonder what else is being done that one day we will realize was not necessary. Meanwhile, after a two week delay, Congress has passed a $484 billion relief package. I'll review it this weekend and give you an update on Monday. Well, that's my update today. Be sure to visit the ICA COVID resource page and I hope you're beginning to realize that there is no need for mass panic and that you will be able to reassure your patients. Don't forget, you are their beacon of hope. Now, as we end this week that started with a reminder about fear and a reminder that there is no need to panic, I'd like to close by reading a brief passage from the introduction of the chiropractic text, Life Without Fear, by Dr. Fred Barch. This is what he said. I have often said that belief in chiropractic philosophy gives one a life without fear. He then proceeded to explain that health in general is a reflection of proper body function rather than the result of the invasion or non-invasion of pathogens and infectious organisms. That dreaded fear of disease seen in those who truly believe in the so-called germ theory could be laid to rest if they but realize the fact that their own bodies harbor most of the organisms they fear. Another reminder that isn't it really all about the health of the host? Now remember, we will get through these challenging times and we'll come back stronger than ever. And we will do so by working together. Thank you.